Hey guys, RPM here. Hope y'all doing well and having a really great day in this video. Well, here we are. We have an unlocker now for the RTX 3050s and the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte cards. As those two cards, these models are LHR V3. And so NB Miner has just released a version 41.4 which has given us the ability now for to unlock from, I guess we were able to get 13 or 14 initially when these 3050s came out, and now we can get like 27 to 28 mega hash. So this is at the 90% unlock, okay, on, on these uh, RTX 3050s. And then for the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte card, I'm gonna have another gentleman show you that. He needs no introduction. He is Mr. Seb Fintech Channel. You guys have probably seen him before. Link down below, make sure you guys go subscribe to him. Seb, thank you so much, man. Take it away. Hey, RPM, thank you so much for this collab, my friend. You're the best. And here it is, guys, the 3080 12 gig version. By far the worst GPU I have for mining Ethereum. But perhaps that's all about to change with this new NB miner version. So let's plug this into my test rig and see what we can get. So here it is plugged into my test rig and I got it hooked up to this PMD so that we can measure the exact power draw of the GPU in line. All right, guys, so we are up and mining and we're getting upwards of 110 mega hash on this thing, which is amazing. Almost double what we used to get. However, I am noticing a few things. So I'm running it at 100% power limit now, no locked core or anything, and plus 1400 on the memory clock just to see what the highest possible hash rate we can get from this is. And what I've noticed is that the hash rate is bouncing around quite a bit, kind of like how the very first LHR unlockers that we got last year used to do. So as you can see, we were up at almost 110. Now we're down to 108. Uh, I've seen it as, go as low as like 104. So it kind of fluctuates a lot like this. And I'm also noticing that on the power consumption, as you can see here, it goes all the way up to like well above 420. And then it dips down all the way to like 320 for a bit. So power goes up and down and hash rate kind of dips up and down a little bit too. But we're kind of roughly around 105 mega hash or so. Although of course it's pulling a lot of power right now. So I'm gonna start to lock the core clock lower and lower and see what the best efficiency we can get out of this is. All right, so the kind of sweet spot that I found seemed to be at locked core around 1250 megahertz or so. You can see that in my afterburner here. Uh, we're getting maybe around like five mega hash less or so, but we've lost definitely around 100 watts. So it's kind of bouncing between 210 and 290 watts as you can see here sometimes dipping a little bit above 300 but a rough 100 watt difference basically so maybe average power draw is around 260 or something and for 105 mega hash that is that is actually pretty good so something else that I noticed here are the memory temperatures. Now, this is a Strix 3080 with all stock thermal pads. And as you can see, the memory temperature mining at 107 mega hash is below 80 degrees with stock thermal pads. So I don't know, maybe GPU manufacturers have finally gotten their act together and putting proper thermal pads in. I don't know, but I just thought that was worth mentioning. All right, guys, so definitely a massive improvement of this thing, especially considering that this new NB Miner LHR unlock is legit. I actually just did a test on my channel to make sure that there's nothing fake going on, and nope, it's all on the up and up. And if you guys happen to be further interested in this 3080 12 gig and what it can do on other coins like Ravencoin or Flux, I do have a full video review on it that you can check out on my channel. Wink, wink. <laughs> But Red Panda Mining, thank you so much again for this collab. And everyone, please remember to like this video and subscribe to Red Panda Mining if you haven't already. Hey, Seb, thank you so much, buddy. You are amazing. Guys, please go subscribe to Mr. Seb Fintech channel. His link is down below in the description. Go subscribe, hit that button right now. And as well, Seb, my friend, I need one of your stickers that I can put on my wall. If you have like a merch store, or a link that I can buy, please let me know. Let us let us all know. I'm sure a lot of people would love to buy your sticker. Thanks so much, man. Okay, so you guys saw the results. Now for the 3050 and 3080 12GB card. It's not, you know, at 100% yet, but I'm gonna assume that NB Miner or maybe all the other mining developer software, T-Rex Miner, G Miner, are eventually gonna come out with the 100% unlock for the 3050 and the 3080 12 gigabyte card. I would say it's not really stable yet. My 3050 here specifically has been 
I would say not stable. It's been kind of going all over the place. I did have a few crashes. I have been testing the different core clock and Hive OS. Uh, actually, I can show you guys. In Hive OS, all right, and you can see my, my instability here. I've been trying to test the past like two hours here. 58 watts in the software, but you saw at the PMD, it's more so like 80 to 90 watts. But I'm using 1550 core, so we're using absolute core clock, and then 2300 memory. On my gigabyte 3050 here, I could not go past, I would say, 2500. Uh, once it did, it would just crash. It would crash the miner. And I could get 28 mega hash, like I could get higher mega hash numbers, but it was not stable after a certain amount of time. And let's say if I wanted to, let me just refresh it here. Uh, if I wanted to get lower, see it's at 71 watts now, it does fluctuate a bit. But if I wanted to get lower power consumption, I would drop the absolute core clock to let's say, you know, 1400 or 1450, and I would drop maybe five watts. And then if I went down to 1200 absolute core clock, it would drop another, I would say, 20 watts or something. But then the mega hash would drop down to about 23, 24 mega hash. So yeah, it's not perfect yet, but I'm assuming as time goes on, probably tomorrow or maybe the same day as this video comes out, you guys are, there's gonna be an update to NB Miner to have the 100% unlock on the RTX 3050 and the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte card, which is, yeah, uh, such a powerhouse now then. So next, you guys are probably wondering, so how is the efficiency amongst other graphics cards? like the sweet spot, like Seb talked about with his 3080 12 gigabyte card. And yeah, with my 3050 at this moment, the, the best settings that I could achieve, it's bottom barrel. <laughs> it's compared to the other GPUs right now, but mind you, that's at 90% unlock, right? So when it comes to, when the 100% unlock comes out, I wonder how the 3050 will then stack up amongst the other GPUs here. But then you can see Seb's 3080 12 gigabyte card, I input it here, 107 mega hash, around, he said around 260 watts, and I, I took the medium of mine as well. My PMD meter, my Elmore Labs PMD meter, was hovering between like 61 to 85 watts, so I just took like the middle ground there. And yeah, so that's all well and good. But if we do the hash per watt amongst the software wattage and hash rate, you can see here that, yeah, the 3050 and 3080 12 gigabyte card is not, I would say, the best card in terms of efficiency. If you don't care about efficiency and you care about the hash rate and you care about density, then sure, right? The 3080 12 gigabyte card, you're gonna get pretty decent amount of hash rate, which is pretty awesome, right? And uh, I mean, if you don't, yeah, I mean, you can also compare maybe, uh, let's see, the 10 gigabyte card 3080, where is that? That is over here, here we go. Full hash rate 3080 10 gigabyte card. That gets about, you know, 100 mega hash, maybe 102. And you know, the power consumption is, it can be between 220 and 240, right? Depending on the, the model of uh, 3080 that you get. And of course, FHR, LHR, that doesn't matter anymore, I guess, but we, which we found out. My sheet here, which link down below, you guys can access this if you want as well, is that the LHR cards, like 3070 Ti, uh, 3060 Ti, like the newer ones in the past, I would say year after, July or June of 2021 when notably all the LHR cards were coming out, right? 3080, 3070s as well. Uh, the 3090 is already a non-LHR, like that That has no LHR effect on it, but the efficiency of this GPU, you can see here in terms of Ethereum mining, is still not as good as, let's say, you know, these cards, 3070s, A2000, 6600 XTs. These are like awesome, efficient GPUs for mining and i would say generally as well amongst other algorithms such as ravencoin such as uh, flux as well flux the 3070s are top tier in my opinion uh, 2080 ti takes the reign for flux mining of course but the biggest thing i guess for people that are wondering right should i go out and buy 3050s now for mining or 3080 12 gigabyte cards for mining i'm gonna have to say no in terms of efficiency standpoint but if you have free electric or you don't care about electricity then so be it go buy whatever you want it doesn't matter but you know for me personally as a residential miner and i'm sure all of you can relate depending on your electrical cost you know wondering how much you can get out of your gpus and the amount that you pay for your electric really does matter right you want to you want to make sure that you are efficient and also the fact of staying competitive because there are other 
crypto miners out there and as we are all competing for the same block essentially you know we are all wanting to yield that ethereum or whatever the next coin that we're all going to be mining after the ethereum merge so even you know the efficiency that we're, we're we're talking about here for ethereum may not even matter anymore in the next couple months here or maybe in q1 of 2023 when the uh, ethereum moves to proof of stake right so but this is just you know for us to realize the 3050 3080 right now uh, once the 100 percent comes out i'm sure that's going to come out in the next couple days here i bet then i'll have another video we'll talk about that and uh, i'll probably get seb's numbers here and we'll update that and yeah but okay that's it guys let me know your thoughts of the 3080 12 gigabyte card that mr seb fintech channel has done for us thank you so much again man and as well as the rtx 3050 8 gigabyte card here uh, yeah just let me know your guys' general thoughts down below and if there are any settings that we should try let us know and of course i'm assuming uh, when there's a new update coming i will let you guys know as well okay so thank you guys for watching have a good one make sure you sub to sub fintech channel guys link down below click it now click on to his channel He's got new videos, probably. Go, go check it out. Go check it out. Thanks so much. Peace, guys. Peace.